In Alias 2022, we improved the user experience and empowering new custom tool creation along with other tools to improve your digital design process. We added, for example, a new way to quickly change the continuity locators using the spacebar. The project tool has now a continuity check type included. And the curve to curve locator tool has now a different deviation. The reference manager can now promote subtees as well, which is very helpful in your concept creation workflow. Like here in this file where I have the wheels which contain subtees as a reference within the scene. I could also work for example on a subd in Maya and push the exported FBX into the reference manager in Alias and receive constant updates on the work that my team on the Maya side is doing. We also have camera based selection, so you don't pick components like CVs which are on the back of the geometry. This will prevent you from moving wrong components by mistake. In Create VR, we can now place and snap images along the axis and also along the symmetry plane. Also, the circle tool and radial symmetry is snapping to the X, Y and Z axis. And moving CVs along X, Y and Z axis is possible now as well. It automatically snaps to the axis. Or you can now extrude a sub-D from out of a curve directly to build up your first shapes, which makes the sub-D creation workflow similar like an alias. With Dynamo and especially with the new Dynamo player, you have the possibility to create functions and tools that are not even existing in Alias. Or you can build up a script that can execute and automate a row of commands, which could save you much time in your process. We also ship Alias with more Dynamo sample scripts, like the new tire script, which now includes threads on the tire. So you can create a complex NURBS tire with threads just by using some sliders and click on Create. Also a hole and fillet tool, which creates a hole, a fillet and can place a screw in one go. The examples also give you a good collection to start your own script and commands to find out how computational design can help you in your design process and create maybe also your own tools. We also did UI improvements like changes to the transform handle, where you can switch from global to local transform directly within the viewport. And you can now create your own pull-down menu by just saving a shelf and pointing to it in the preferences. Now I have my own customized menu that I can share with my team to ensure everybody is using the same standards, settings and workflows for the tools. We also updated the UI and created new icon sets. We also have the ability to use presets for tools that you can use within the history visualizer. As you can see here where I am applying different fillet presets which I can use to rebuild surfaces for production quick and easy. For collaborative modeling, we can now load assembly files from CATIA and X or JT directly within the reference manager, which gives you a faster loading speed and a better performance with the volume of data. The reference manager also respects the hierarchy and data structure from engineering. And it also recognizes ISOMSURF reference files. Just load the plugin within the plugin manager and then import the RMS file into the reference manager. Thanks for watching the video.